going. And he said, oh yeah, yeah, that's that one woman show. Uh, no, no, it's not a one woman show at all. And God bless the Drama Desk nominators for noticing that. They knew that there was able support being provided there. And indeed, even though Shannon Geo cannot be with us tonight, we certainly have her co-star, the Drama Desk nominee, as best featured actor in a play, Daniel K. Isaac. <laughs> Shannon Tayo, <laughs> but Shannon did send me a speech that she swore me to not read until I reached this podium. So here are my cold reading skills. <laughs> Thank you so much to the Theater World Awards for this incredible honor. I'm so sad I couldn't be there tonight, but I couldn't ask for a better person to deliver this short speech than Daniel K. Isaac who has promised me he will read this now and for the first time in front of you all. <laughs> you may not realize he is, as he is a smooth and adept cold reader with the velvety vocal tones of a young James Earl Jones. <laughs> but he is. <laughs> He is also a brilliant scene partner, one of the most generous and caring friends a person could ask for, and in possession of a truly world-class head of hair. <laughs> okay. Thank you from the bottom of my heart to Ralph Pena, Mai Theatre Company, and Lloyd Sell for this opportunity. Thank you to the Public Theatre for your support and care. Thank you to the entire team who worked on this show for your brilliance, your integrity, and your kindness. Thank you to everyone who came to see the show, or even thought to. Maybe it's the stresses of the pandemic, or maybe it's just getting older, but it's finally gotten through my thick skull that time is maybe the most precious commodity that can be given or received. Thank you to anyone who gave your time to this production. Congratulations to the incredible actors also receiving this award. Please pretend I have awkwardly sidled up to you, sputtering, rambling, inadequate praise, as I would most certainly have done if I had met you in person tonight. Did I mention Daniel K. Isaac? <laughs> well, is as good a writer as he is an actor, which is saying something, or so says his 2022 Drama Desk nomination. Speaking of his writing, don't miss Daniel's beautiful play, <laughs> Once Upon a Korean Time, which will have an off-Broadway run starting late summer of this year. Run, don't walk to see it. <laughs> Hi, Daniel. Thank you for reading this. Peter Piper picked a peg of <laughs> to read something on behalf, my behalf, isn't it? <laughs> All right, let sanity prevail. Thank you so much for this honor. Have a wonderful night.